Dear Harry, how far you've come. From a 16 year old student who works in a bakery, a hopeful boy just trying to impress at the X Factor, to the most popular member of the biggest band on the planet. A really incredible story, almost like a fairy tale. The whole world knows you. Thousands of girls scream your name at every show, no matter where you play. Needless to say, that it's so easy to let grow over your head. It's pretty understandable, isn't it? Nobody would be surprised if you got high-spirited from a million people worshipping you. The only hitch is you didn't. You wear that necklace every day, and you have that small cross inked on the back of your thumb. But tell me, do you believe in angels? I'm not really religious, but I'm sure about one thing. If angels exist, you're one of them. Why is that, one might ask? And I want to tell you, I am going to tell you why. When people find out about my obsession with you, I often get an eyebrow as a response from them. Of course, the cute one from the boy back One Direction. Getting that reaction makes me so sad and so angry. It always leads to me rambling about you for ages and trying to explain where you are the most precious gift to this world and eventually just showing them the things that you do. And once they see, most of them understand. Because that's just not who you are, the cute one. You are so much more. It's the way you shake everybody's hand whenever you get to a place. The way you are always so unbelievably nice and respectful to paparazzis. It literally doesn't matter how penetrated, bald or just plain rude they are. You will still find a way to be polite to them. Warn them before colliding with a street lamp. Ask them kindly to let you get some rest. And then have a talk with them. Or even give your food to them. I crazily love the way you act with the fans. How warmly you hug every single one. How you hold them. Let them kiss you and kiss them back. Your incredible dedication towards the fans. The never ending love you show us. The crazy thing is, you don't even know I exist. But yet, I know you're always there for me. And if I actually met you, I know I could tell you everything and you would listen, because that's just who you are. There are so many people who say they care, when in reality, you know exactly that they don't. It's different with you. With you, it's true. You really actually care because you're one of the most genuine people on this planet. At least, I have yet to meet someone comparable to you. And that's why, every day, you make me happy and sad at the same time. Because you are the most inspiring person whose existence I've ever witnessed. And most likely I will never be able to meet you, hug you, talk to you, tell you how much you mean to me, what you have done for me. You inspired me so much. You inspire me to always be polite and respectful to every single person I meet. To be as nice to people as humanly possible. To be myself and not to be ashamed of who I am. You laugh. The most beautiful sound in the world with the power of healing. I'm in love with the way your beautiful green eyes shine and your gorgeous dimples show when your lips break into a smile. How your whole face lights up when you tell one of your bad jokes that only Niall laughs at because he just laughs at everything. How hopeful you look around, wishing to amuse someone other than yourself with those jokes. 
your adorableness that makes you seem so young and quirky. Your weird tweets. You taught us never to make eye contact while eating a banana. And that he who is brave is free. Your enthusiasm and how passionate you are when you sing. How you lose yourself in the music. Your beautiful voice. Your talent that amazes me every single day. Your concern about people and your patience with the fans. You take yourself so much time to pay attention to everyone. And you always make sure that they're okay and comfortable. Your wise words and your tolerance. I admire how humble you are, that you're still not a single bit proud. You've built such an amazing confidence, but you're still so sensitive. And in some moments, you seem so vulnerable, and that makes you natural and human. If it wasn't for that, I would say that you can't be human, because you're literally too perfect. There is no day in which I don't think of you, no day that you don't inspire me. But still, as much as it feels like it, I don't really know you. I don't know who you are inside. I don't know where you are, or what you're doing, or who you're spending your time with. But wherever you are right now, I hope you're very well.